of these industries all have in common? Hundreds of thousands of lost jobs and union bosses who helped to put them out of business. If you think the economy's bad now, it could get worse. Union bosses are pushing their own bailout bill in Congress that could force employees to pay union dues against their will. Economists say it will cost jobs and damage the economy. Fight the Employee Forced Choice Act at EmployeeFreedom.org. New Jersey trying to deal with this budget crisis with the plan to cut costs of some of its over-the-top benefits for state workers. Now, part of the plan calls for workers to pitch in some of their salary to pay for health care coverage. You know, like the way most American workers do. Both political parties afford, but unions want to bust it. Ben Stein, you're not surprised. I'm not at all surprised. Unions have been making a habit of saying, okay, we'll keep uh, pay raises down to a slightly outrageous minimum, but uh, we want a big pot of gold at the end of the rainbow for when we retire. This is what killed the auto industry. This is what killed manufacturing in America to a large extent. The enormous uh, unfunded costs and liabilities for pension funds. Now it's killing killing the states and municipalities of America. They're going to go the way of Detroit. They're going to have to go into some kind of municipal or statewide bankruptcy unless they can get those pension costs under control. And the workers right. owe it to themselves to pitch in. Adam, you know, it's hard to find an argument against what Ben just said. Uh, and we see this being played out in countries around the world as well. These, these yeah. high pensions that just can't be paid. Uh, on the merits, it's, it's hard to disagree. I'd like to say that I'm not, I'm not in favor of union bashing for the sake of union bashing. It doesn't no, surprise no me in the least. No one's bashing the unions. That, we're just saying. No, listen, I, think we, Adam, I think we do Adam, regularly bash the unions. we talked about a shared sacrifice unions. in 2009. Yeah, that was the, nation, the nation's mantra, right? We're all going to be in this together. If labor bosses controlled class elections. Thanks for your vote. I want to assure you that a vote for me is best for you. Ms. Hudgens has just agreed that there isn't going to be any secret vote. Just sign these cards showing us who you like the best, and my campaign committee will collect and count them. Labor union bosses have a new scheme to do away with secret ballot elections. Find out more at unionfacts.com. Welcome to Target, where we know you'll have a terrific experience. I'm Doug. And I'm Maria. And even if you already started working here, you're already part of an important team in a great Target store. We're a Target because we're a threat to unions, the unions that represent grocery store workers. When we take business away from unionized grocery stores, that means they need fewer employees. And fewer grocery store employees mean fewer union members. And fewer members, well, that's a problem for the union business. That's right, I said business, union business. No one knows exactly what could happen, but there are lots of examples of how rigid grocery store union contracts could hurt our store's ability to serve guests and actually hurt our team members in the process. Let's say you're working in stationary, but you're walking through domestics on your way to check on something. A guest stops you and asks for help. What would you do? Without even thinking about it, you'd stop and give them any assistance they required. But what if union work rules say you can't work outside of your department? What do you tell the guest? Sorry, I can't help you? That makes you look bad, but more importantly, it means our guest doesn't get immediate attention, and they might not come back. So everyone gets hurt, everyone except the union. Hi, I'm Jim Router. Team members have the right to join unions, but they also have a right not to join a union. Refuse to sign and keep Target union free.